Hi, this is Sarah Marks, the librarian at UMass Lowell. For this video, I'm going to talk about the quality assessment of Wikipedia entries. Every Wikipedia entry is seeking to attain a certain level, and that is the featured article. These are the best entries on Wikipedia. They're put on the main web page, but less than 0.1% of the articles have achieved this status. Not only is the criteria high, but you don't just stay there permanently. A number of entries have had the status removed. There are different levels of quality within Wikipedia, and each entry is evaluated by people within the assigned projects for quality and priority. You can see what that has been assigned to on the talk page. These are the projects. They'll tell you that how they're rated and their importance. For this video, I'm going to go over the quality scale. My hope is this helps you understand what work work should be done on an entry to help it move to the next level. A side note, very often you're going to look at the quality level that's assigned and be sure it's wrong. It's been identified as a stub class, but it looks much more developed than that. And you're probably right. Very often an evaluation will be done and then not done again until it's actually requested. But let's hold off on this idea to the end of the video. Each article is assessed by similar criteria. Some projects might have slightly different, but for the most part, every project's criteria is the same. For this video, I'm going to focus on the quality scale established by other projects like computer security and um, some of the city ones. You'll see entries related to the San Diego project, for example. Since the computer security project is aligned with a lot of the projects you're, and entries you're going to work on, I wanted to make sure that my understanding of the criteria matched. So there are seven, seven different levels. There's stub, start, C class, B class, A class, good article, and featured article. Sometimes the A class and the good article are very similar rankings, but you'll be labeled a good article and then an A class. We're going to look at each one. First, a stub article. If you find an entry that's just a paragraph or two with very little detail, then you're probably looking at a stub class article. If these articles, there is little meaningful content. There won't be any citations, and it may be in danger of being nominated for deletion. These articles need all the help they can get. Second level is star class. To get to the star class, you want to focus on adding citations and meaningful content. These are less in danger of deletion, but looking for a lot of help. After that, you get to C-Class. These articles have substantially more content, but are still missing important ideas and may contain irrelevant content. There should be a reference to reliable sources. It may need editing for clarity, balance, or flow. These entries should be useful for a casual reader, but not yet offering a complete picture. To become a B-class entry, the content can't have any major problems and mostly be complete. There should be no obvious omissions or inaccuracies. The target audience should be broad. It should not just have references at the end, but in-text citations to those references. The structure should be defined with a lead paragraph introducing the basics of the entry, and it should start containing images and an info box. To achieve the rank of good article, it has to be well written. That means clear and concise, correct grammar and spelling, and complies with the Wikipedia style manual. Information must be verified with a list of all references, in-text citations, there can't be original research, and there can't be copyright violations. The coverage must be broad, addressing main aspects while staying focused on the topic. There should not be any unnecessary details. It should comply with neutrality standards and be fair to various points of view. It should be stable without frequent changes or vandalism. It should contain media tagged with the appropriate copyright status and relevant captions. It should be useful to all readers and of the quality almost like that of a professional encyclopedia. You'll be able to identify a good article by looking on the right side after the title. You'll see that green plus sign with a circle around it. That's how you know it's a good article. A-class technically comes after good articles, but they're really not that much different. 
these entries have some specific criteria for the project. So these might not always be the most common denominators. Look at each project and see how they assess the A entries. But primarily it has to be well written with a clear and complete description, well referenced, and only minor style issues. It must be useful to readers and have a complete treatment. So what's the difference between a good article and a featured article? To be considered for either, the article has to be nominated. If a good article is almost like an article in a professional encyclopedia, then a featured article is comparable to one in a professional encyclopedia. It should meet all professional standards of writing, presenting, and sourcing. It should follow all policies about content to be well-written, comprehensive, well-researched, neutral, and stable. It has a lead paragraph, appropriate structure, and consistent citations. It has images with succinct captions and acceptable copyright status. It stays focused on main topics, and the style is encyclopedic. In other words, it's summary style. A featured article will get featured on the front page of Wikipedia, and then get a star in gold to indicate their status. I hope this explanation gives you a better understanding of how articles are assessed. You can and should request new assessments be done after you've done significant changes to an entry. You should even consider, as you get more comfortable, helping the projects assess. You'll see a lot of them haven't been assessed after one first assessment, so they'll look far more developed than the assessment indicates. Typically, if one project does a new assessment, any other project connected to the entry will accept that assessment for their own project because these criteria are pretty standard across all the projects. And if you have any questions or want to know more, contact me. I'm happy to help.